take two. Okay, hey everybody, really quick video. I went to Ollie's and I got one of these humidifiers. Okay, it was sixteen ninety nine. It's good. This is good. Here's why. As a humidifier, I guess it's okay. I don't know. Haven't used it. But what I did immediately was take it apart. Not completely apart, but just for my own purposes, right? And it comes apart very easily. Okay, here are the legs. There's a screw in each right there, right? It screws down to the base here. The base just has two little raised platforms. Let me, uh, the screws are in there too, so see? Screws right there. And he sits. And here's the, the body. Right, he has a block right there, keeps the leg immobile, point, and that's where the the leg mounts, all right, and this is a, if, if you're not up to modding something heavy, this is a good thing to, to deal with. This is the humidifier, right, water tank. Okay, he is roughly... The same size. He's a tiny bit bigger. Just a tiny bit bigger than the R2. The interactive Hasbro R2. And here's a, this is a great... I love doing this comparison. It comes with the droid not took apart. It comes with your power supply. Oddly, 24 volts. Okay? And a little cleaning brush. And a manual, safety manual and all that. This is the interactive R2, right? Now, you can see... They're um, he's just a little bit bigger. Okay. Come here. Let me do it like this. The ankles don't bend, but he is a little bit bigger. Okay. And I brought him out as a comparison, right? So, big empty can. The dome looks pretty good. He's got that those cutouts for the lights, but that's just something, right? A feature. Uh, that's the only function that this thing does, is it puts light and it puts steam. Humidifier, right? And goes together. There's The dome does not turn. No, it does not turn. Okay, if you can get one, get one. It's fun because it gives you a ready-made... Little, if you're not up to modding something like this, right? This is more complicated, much more complicated. This gives you a ready made can, dome, power inlet. I recommend uh, a battery, right? <laughs> if you're going to do anything with it, build something into it. And it looks pretty good. Let's do, you know what? I was going to do a side by side with it put together, but. Took apart is just as good for me. Now, side by side, detail wise, they look very close to each other. See, you can tell. Now, this is directly next to each other. You see, he's a little bit bigger to where I want to say same scale, right? And they're both pretty much the scale of the uh, 18 inch figures, pretty much. I would put them in there with the 18-inch figures. Okay, but the details look good. You can tell they both came from the same place, but the vents are wider, probably because they pushed them up and squeezed them up uh, a little bit, but they didn't need to because there was plenty of room. The little arms are thinner. The dome looks pretty good. I'd say the dome looks pretty darn good. It, of course, it's missing a little bit of detail because this is a totally a dummy thing. It's a humidifier. But just wanted to show this off. The legs. Okay. The legs are just plastic, right? They do. Oh, it's got the little <laughs> hoses. Are they real hoses? Of course not. They're just a piece of plastic. Like, I bet that's weed eater line. <laughs> <laughs> stuck down and glued, but they're just plastic. They screw on. They're not supposed to move, but you can make them move if you mod it up. And 
The details are pretty good. Hollow, ready to put your little toy car in there, or a little RC car, and make it, it, it doesn't have a third leg. That's like an air inlet for like, uh, I don't know, there might be a fan. I haven't looked, but that's what this thing looks like, okay? Just a quick show ya, show me video. And I'm going to put him back together because now I know how easy it is to take apart. Thanks. Out of here. Bye-bye.